Ahoy mateys. Still uh, February the 4th, 2020. This is part two of my excursion to uh, get the correct part for my furnace. So I am currently on South Division in Grand Rapids, South Division and 36th Street area. And this is the famous Godwin Plumbing Store. And I think you can see the sign up there. Sorry for the bouncing, but I haven't been in here in like 10 years or more. And man, this place has grown, remodeled, expanded. It's quite amazing. In fact, when I got here like half an hour ago, there was nowhere to park out here in the main customer parking lot. Now there is, but there wasn't. And I had to wait in line to be waited on. I don't know if it's because it's like noon hour or what's going on, but this place is so busy I can't believe it. So I parked back here. So I call it Grand Rapids, but now that I think about it, it's Wyoming. My uh, my address when I lived close to here was Wyoming. And speaking of living close to here, I got a little story to tell you that you might enjoy. So, I'm going to put you on the dash as usual and we'll take a little excursion up Division and a little sachet off to the side on 34th Street. So, you're back in your usual spot up here, folks. Mateys. My mateys. Alright. Whoops. Trying to get you straightened out there. And hopefully the cord, the lanyard, is going to stay. Got to get my seatbelt on. And here we go. Yeah, for those of you who maybe know this area, probably been to this store. If I'd have come here yesterday I would have saved one hundred dollars. Now I'm stuck with this part. I showed it to them. And they said why'd they sell you that? I said well here's my model numbers and stuff. He looked it up on the computer he says that's not even close. <laughs> But, I have no choice. Uh, the only thing I can do is put the wrong part up for sale on eBay. And hope I sell it. You know? Chances are somebody's going to get a deal because I looked... I took the part number off of it and looked it up. This, the wrong part, I could have got on Amazon, the wrong part, mind you, but I could have got it at, on Amazon for like $80. Think about that. I paid $136 for what Amazon would have sold me for $80. But of course, I would have had to wait for Amazon to get it to me. So I guess that's one factor. can't win some days. It just doesn't look level to me. I guess it's going to have to do. Okay, we are at 36. We're, we are northbound on Division. We are at 36 and Division. Godwin High School is off to my west. Off to my left hand side. Take a little sachet to the east down here on 34th Street. Just for a minute. I'm trying to think how long ago it was, but I lived in this neighborhood. I'm gonna I'm gonna say 20 years ago. I'd, I'd have to really think about it to remember. 
remember all of the uh, the dates and years, whatever. But I lived in this neighborhood for almost 10 years. Okay, this is 34th Street. Haven't been down here in at least 10 years. Oh my gosh. Has it changed? Oh my gosh. Okay. Here is 44. I used to live at 44 for five years. My neighbor's cat from across the street would always come over, spend time with me, and go back home. But one day, let's see if I can get the right angle. One day I noticed this house across the street where the cat lived was for sale. I'm trying, hopefully there's no traffic. But anyways, you see that great big yellow thing, box built on a stump? Well, that was the biggest tree in this neighborhood. I mean huge. Absolutely huge tree. And sad to see that it's gone now. But anyways, one day I noticed hanging on the tree, it said for sale. So I walked over, and the lady was out tending to her flowers. She had a lot of flowers and stuff. And of course, the cat was happy to see me. His name was Crazy. And I said, so how much for the tree? She says, well, I'm asking 72000 Okay. Well, got my realtor involved, and eventually I bought it for 69000 The tree for 69000 And... The house came with it, so, so I bought this great big tree for 69. And she moved out, in the process of moving out, her her cat, crazy, he says, "No, nah, I'm not going with you to. I think she was going to Texas or Arizona. I don't remember. Arizona. Anyways, no, he would not get in that big truck. Nope, 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 nope. So guess what? He became my cat. So I bought a tree for $69,000 and it came with a house and a fur baby. Crazy. And he lived about three years and I can tell you some stories about that crazy cat. Oh my gosh, was he crazy. Alright, better get heading home. Matter of fact, I am going to tell you a story about crazy. Why should I wait till October? At 47, the place with a big tree that we're leaving now. Well, I used to go nuts at Halloween time. All kinds of decorations, and I had, you know, talking witches and a, a big rat that, when, when it was a motion, a motion sensor rat, in fact, I still have it. But when you broke that motion sensor, that rat, he was in a trap. But he'd start bouncing around screaming. <laughs> and his eyes would glow red. It was a cute, cute decoration. And I had black ravens that would talk. I, I just had everything, you know. Now, we had the path that went up and there was shrubbery there. And I see they took the shrubbery down too. But there was a path from the driveway to the house. This is short little path there was shrubs on each side. So to approach the front porch, you were going down a little path that was bordered by these shrubs. So on Halloween, we were trick-or-treating and we got lots of trick-or-treaters. Oh my gosh, we get easily 150, you know, I'd spend $30 just on candy to hand out. And that was cheap candy. Anyways, so here comes a group of trick-or-treaters, you know, and I'm waiting for them to come by the rat or by the witch. All of a sudden, 
crazy was hiding in the shrubbery and he jumps out at him and scares a living shit out of these little kids that are trick-or-treating. And then they, of course they'd get over it and then of course the witch would get them and the rat would get them and sometimes the ravens would say something if their motion detectors were just right. And of course I was always dressed up in costume. You know, I might have been a pirate or I might have been the Grim Reaper, Scarecrow. I've done all kinds of different uh, outfits for Halloween. I was amazed. Okay, so this little group, they got their candy and they take off and all of a sudden here, here comes another group. And I'll be dang, he did it to them too. And this went on for a couple hours. He would jump out and scare a group and then go back underneath the bushes and wait for the next group. I wish we had YouTube back then. That would have been amazing to film. Yeah, I lost crazy. He was old. But he he didn't like anybody except me. I I was his human. <laughs> we had a couple dogs too, but he didn't care about the dogs. It didn't bother him. But he would sit in my lap all the time. Or when I was out. But we had a swimming pool, bubble ground pool, I'd be out there working on the pool. He'd be right there underneath my feet. And no, he didn't like the water. He would not go float on the raft with me or anything like that. <laughs> but he'd, he'd be there. He'd be around. And I, I don't know. He just loved me. And I loved him. Well, one day, I uh, went downstairs. I had a man cave. And uh, right next to the man cave was the uh, laundry room. And there was a basket of laundry there. And I found him laying on top of the laundry basket on the clothes. And he had passed away. Across that rainbow bridge. But at least he was comfortable in the basket of clothes. So, I miss him. He was nuts. The craziest cat I ever owned. Or, craziest cat that ever owned me. That's how it goes. Oh no, I forgot what I was gonna do. Yep, I gotta turn around. Let's see if I can go through this parking lot. We were at Burton. Oh no, I can't get through that one. I'm gonna have to take a street here. Where's the street? The next street is Griggs. I'm gonna try to do something different here. I'm gonna turn around. I don't know what barber shop. I don't remember that being there. This looks interesting. This looks like trucks that I drive. Especially that one right there. Alright, let's see if we can go back south a little bit. Okay, looks like he's cleaning up the streets. Huh. Never seen that around here. Okay, we are going to take a little stop here at the corner of. Uh, I wonder which. I wonder how I should do this. I probably should just turn left. Anyways, I want to go to Robin's Lock Shop. I won't be taking you in because I don't know if they're camera shy or not. But the main reason I want to stop here, even though it's February 4th, they always had the best calendars. Give away the best calendars. Let's see if Rob, the owner, is still around. And I'm sure he is. Hope he is. Well, I'm going to ask to see if I can get a calendar. I haven't had one in a long time. So here we are at Rob's 
Lock. Robin's Lock used to be right in the middle of downtown. Remember I was telling you little stories? You see that that big padlock? Padlock? Padlock. Padlock hanging on the wall there. Or no, it's actually mounted on a pipe and attached to the wall. Uh, my good friend, who's passed away, but my good friend made that for him. Okay. Well, here's a good spot. There's a better spot. Get to see the front of the building. Robin's Lock Shop. Alright. I'm going to shut you off. We'll call this, uh, this will be the end of part two for uh, February 4. 2020. It's Captain Jack Scrapper signing off. Meanwhile, fair winds and smiles. And of course, may God bless. Hey, please like and share and subscribe if you haven't. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.